What the fuck was that? <laughs> he said, how are you doing? And I stream actually in the middle of the nighttime, so that makes it a little more difficult. But go ahead. I'm Cobalt Streak. I've been streaming for about three and a half years as well. Um, I have the pleasure of dating Rustin Rose, and I play a lot of Binding of Isaac, a lot of indie games, um, Darkest Dungeon, just really whatever I feel like playing. And uh, yeah, I stream about in the middle of the day, so from like 5 to 11 p.m. Central. So. Hello. <laughs> I'm Alan. Uh, I've been streaming since 2007, however long that is. Um, I also have the pleasure of dating Rustling Rose, which makes this really uncomfortable right now. Um, <laughs> I stream all day and night, 12, 14, 15 hours a day, six to seven days a week. We stream a variety of everything. We do everything. That's me. I'm the everything man. I stream with Alan on Serious Gaming, and we do our long streams every day. Yeah, and apologies if there was any confusion. Uh, Towley and his girlfriend Lula could not be here today. They had a conflict, which is why Cobalt Shriek and Wrestling Rose have stepped in very graciously. So thank you guys so much. Uh, so one of the big things, and there's, a, there's kind of a difference in the two couples that are up on the stage, right? Because Victoria and Alan stream together as like one thing, and Cobalt and Wrestling Rose uh, are separate streamers that are in a relationship. So I guess the first thing I'd like to ask you is, would you recommend dating a streamer? No. No. <laughs> I thought you said yes this morning. That was me. <laughs> oh, that was you. I said yes because uh, it's really hard to find people that understand about streaming if they're not very. Um, knowledgeable about streaming in general, so I find that they're way more accepting of my craziness and my inability to like ever want to not stream or, or miss a day, so that works out for me that way. Yeah, because streaming is, it's a pretty different occupation than, you know, most things, right? Like, do you find that, um, you know, how does streaming affect your relationship? <laughs> Definitely. It's a mess. <laughs> it is a mess. Don't do it. Uh, it's exhausting. Emotionally, physically, we stream all day and night. So, us personally streaming together, being by each other's side, we have no separate space. We only have together space. So, it's uh, the good, the bad, everything in front of everyone. And then they judge every minute little thing that you do. Vic, cook me dinner. What a prick, that guy. Ooh, can't say prick. Sorry. I'm going to get a swear jar. Sorry. What a bad boy. Very naughty. You're supposed to say sorry. You're Canadian. Sorry. Thank you. So, yeah, it's really bad for us, like, emotionally, all the time. But there's good, too. I mean, you get to hang out all day. You don't have to leave your house. There's no traffic. It's it definitely... Somehow she's late all the time. <laughs> Get ready. Yeah, it makes, makes time management a nightmare when you already are, even when you're single, worrying about um, getting the best use out of your time and then even still having personal time and then your personal time usually interlaps so you don't get any private time. Um, and there's some nights where we only even sleep the same hours, maybe overlap a couple hours or so. So it's, it's ridiculously... Uh, it's very stressful, but you know, rewarding as any relationship should be. I should, I guess. So, 
So I guess uh, my next question is, uh, how did you guys meet? I'm not telling it, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a friend named uh, Grip X, and he is a League of Legends streamer. And we got really bored one night, so we were looking for channels to troll. And um, not just one night, they did this. I figured very out often. the word for that, by the way. <laughs> it's, it's called, called questing. Is it called, it's called, it's called, it's called, it's called questing? I actually learned that. Twitch has banned that now, so thank God you got that in early. Yeah. So what better tab than the, the League of Legends tab at the time, since he's very knowledgeable in that and can call some bullshit out on people. Um, and we found her stream and. I actually didn't troll her much because I ended up starting to actually watch her and uh, enjoy her channel. So um, it ended up working out, I guess. But uh, so what that started as a simple intention. trolling <laughs> blossomed into so much more. <laughs> How about you guys? My bad. <laughs> Ours was different. Mine was the other way, believe it or not. I was streaming and... Uh, I was questing Ellen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she, she would be in the chat asking about World of Warcraft and stuff and someone sold her out and said, It's a girl. It's a girl. It's a girl. You should see her stream. So I pulled it up on my stream and I'm like, oh, hey, you're pretty cute, you know? And then like she immediately like sent me a Twitch message, which somehow we lost, which makes me sad. But, and she was like, hey, my name's Vic. Let's be friends. <laughs> and I saved it for three years, and somehow the inbox got deleted, and uh, that okay. made me sad. But then after that, we just—I was like, "Oh, hey, let's meet. I dare you to come to San Diego and have fun." And two weeks later, she took a flight here. So you dared her? Yeah. Yes, <laughs> well, that's the best way. And now you we're dare them, and they're like, "God, he's putting me on the spot." Right. And now we're getting married in like three weeks. Yes. Yeah. Yay. Shameless plug. On stream, thank you, Twitch. <laughs> now you're forced. <laughs> so what we're learning is that questing works. <laughs> it can, I guess. So uh, I guess things have been getting pretty serious. Uh, but how did your viewers find out that you were dating? Oh, I brought her on stream immediately. I mean, who wouldn't? <laughs> Clearly. For me, it was like, hey, you know, so she would be in Canada. And right away, I just like started throwing her on Skype and putting her right on the screen like this big, you know, and eating up 75% of the game screen. <laughs> Even when she slept in the morning, I'd get her on Skype and she'd be like sleeping, talking to me, and then she'd be like, wait, am I on stream? And I'd be like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> laying in bed and she's just sleeping, talking on stream. We did like uh, dinner, dinner dates. dates on stream, like she would eat and stuff. And people would buy her sushi or whatever. We do shots, obviously. So you would literally just <clears throat> like both be on Skype and eating dinner together on a live stream? Yes. While gaming in the background. Of course, yes. Of course, there was much gaming. That's, that's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> How about you guys? Do you want me to? Um, actually, we've been dating longer than everybody knows. Um, we took it very slow and wanted to integrate our communities and make sure that they were receptive of the idea of us dating. Like my chat liked him, you know, vice versa. We didn't want to start dating and then have some type of backlash from either one of our communities. Like, oh, why are you dating that girl? She's stupid or, you know, anything like that. So we, we did a, a stream at his friend Richard Hammer's house. Um, just to test the water. We were already dating at the time, and uh, everything seemed to work out pretty well. I mean, after that, we we're like, Nobody okay, let's... hated us, so it was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> worked out. Yeah. So then after that, um, we we're just like, let's just tell everybody, and we kind of slowly started. We didn't. We never denied it, but we never like openly said, hey, we're two streamers dating, anything like that. So. That's yeah, it's an interesting cool. thing to think about, like getting your community's approval. <laughs> We've like, lost ours. It's, it's, it's a, it's, streaming is a very personal thing, but it's also your job, you know? So anything you do with it, you do with like um, very soft hands. You wanna make sure everybody's gonna be okay with it. You don't really want a lot of drama or trolling or, you know, pictures of people, you know, cheating on you Friday nights and whatnot. <laughs> <So. laughs> Oh my. <laughs> that was a lie. So, I mean, yeah. hypothetically, yeah. What, what, what would have happened if your communities hadn't liked each other? Yeah, how would I would have kept her. 
<laughs> and I would have gotten rid of my community. Sorry. Because <laughs> she's... What would I would have done? kept her. You never told me this. Um, what would you have done? I don't know. I guess we would just not have talked about it ever. And I would have been like, my personal life's my, my shit and leave me alone. You know? <laughs> what would you Back say? Back off. This is for gaming here <laughs> in this channel, people. You don't need to know any of my personal That's life. That's right. No, I don't know. I, I think... I think um, that being a male streamer and having a female on your channel is always positive. going to be more positive than the flip side um, because a lot of people, the audience is just different. So people are looking for different kinds of attention when they go to different channels. Um, and for, for a male, it's very, it's very positive and I don't feel it's as much positive for a female. I feel like a lot of the people want them to be talking to chat, they want their attention, they want to hear their voice, that's kind of what the majority is there for. So, um, it was more so, it was it okay with her community than mine. I, I still would have probably told everybody, at, to her detriment probably, well, but, you, you kind of just, you know. he's like, well you don't have to tell your stream, you know, just don't deny <laughs> it or anything. And, oh, and then he does a, a marathon with 20,000 people, and he's like, oh, that's my girlfriend, Russ and Rose, <laughs> here. I'm like, well, shit, <laughs> Yeah, that's weird. Like, people think about meeting the parents, but... You gotta meet the stream. Meet the stream. <laughs> meet the stream. <laughs> They're the most judgmental. They start oh. rioting. Yeah, once you meet the parents, it's easy. Uh, so, I mean, one of the things that happens, you know, obviously, you're all very beautiful people. And how do you guys deal with people coming into your streams and hitting on your significant others? Don't look at me. <laughs> this, uh, sorry, this was a question for Vic and... Rose. <laughs> really? I don't know. It's pretty clear on our stream. There's two webcams. He's sitting there, so... It doesn't really happen that often for us. It really us. doesn't. Um, Do you want it to start? <clears throat> we just don't have that kind of community. We have a lot of couples that watch. There's not a lot of single males that are like, I can't wait to get with Vic, or single females that are like, I can't wait to get with Alan. <laughs> Baby. I don't think that happens too, too much. No. We've kind of, I mean, we're wide open. Literally, we're open books, so we don't have to deal with that too often. It's happened once. You get it more One time. <laughs> How about you guys, Cobalt and Rose? Go ahead, you first. <laughs> if they're aggressive, we just ban them. <laughs> Don't be. GG. That's you sit in her channel and you see somebody like super white knighting. He's like poof. <laughs> do you mod her channel? Yeah, you ban. Wait, do you, do you mod her channel? channel? I don't actually ban people. Do you mod her channel? I just time them out for ten days. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, what happened? Who did that? Um, I'm fine with it. I don't. I'm very secure in my relationship. I mean, we have a great relationship, so. I mean, if a girl got too close, though, I mean, then I would... <laughs> I think as long as neither of us are, like, you know, playing back with them, flirting with them, or being the same way, then it's not really a problem. Um, we both trust each other. Um, we want to keep the community positive, so if there's any of that, that kind of stuff going on, um, you're just like, oh, I really appreciate it, you know, I have a great girlfriend or whatever, and then that's, you just move on to the next chat line and just keep it, keep it moving, I guess. You don't want to make it a highlight of your channel. Um, it's just better to kind of bury it, I guess, and just let throw it out there. Yeah, I am not single, so don't get your hopes up or whatever. Uh, and then go about your gaming. Yeah. What, what do you think the differences are between uh, your relationships and a relationship that didn't have streaming? Neither person streaming? Yeah. <laughs> sure you're much happier because the whole internet isn't judging you they don't watch you i mean who's there to judge you just your friends your local friends right and you're like it's your job and your business so anything you do negative can affect that so if right i mean you're if you're at work at wherever you work i'll pretend i don't know <laughs> do your coworkers judge your home relationship all the time are they like how things with you and your wife? Did you treat her well last night? <laughs> did you make dinner or did she? You know, did you work too long? I mean, like, no one judges you on that. So it's obviously way different. Your relationship is something that's not also at work. For us, our relationship is also our work. So we see a counselor six days a week. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
Uh, so tell us about date night. <laughs> Theirs is funny. <laughs> one a year. One a year. I don't know what that is. <laughs> It's, uh, it's really hard with, with both of our schedules to, to ever get time away. Um, I don't like missing days. I like being there, I like giving people a reason to sub to my channel because I'm really dedicated. Um, she understands that to a degree, but I, you know, I do try to do stuff like find movies or stuff for us to watch or have Netflix shows that we can work on watching when we do have the time. Um, and every now and then I'll try to take her out for a nice dinner or something, um, especially like events and stuff like this. So, it, I don't know, it's very stressful. It's all about compromise. It's, compromise is extremely important, I feel like. Um, so both sides end up at least getting partially what they want. Well, yeah, because you both live in the same place, so you know, you're not always streaming at the same times, right? Sorry? So you both live in the same place. You're not always streaming at the same time. That's true. Um, well, she lives in Illinois and I live in Tennessee, but we travel back and forth and spend like a month or two together and then we alternate so that it's fair. And um, I mean, we, I'll stream my six hours and we'll have about like an hour break uh, between before she usually gets on and that's just enough to maybe go run and get food and, and catch up. The, the perk is, unlike a regular job, we can actually kind of interact with one another. I can lurk in her chat or you know, talk to her while she's streaming, bring her coffee or whatever. Um, and she can do the same when I stream. I like to have her sitting in my room sometimes just to talk to and, you know, crack a joke to every now and then. My chat seems to like her a lot. Um, so in that regards, it's, it's better because, like, if you're working a, a very serious job, your significant other can't just come up there and be like, yo, what's up? You know, how we doing today? And, you know, you kind of have that leeway to take a three-minute break, just like at any job, you know, you can go hang out with her, and that's not something a perk that you would normally have, I would say. No, but the bad thing about that is that it's not a nine to five job, so the streaming work never ends. It's always, yeah. you know, it could be three in the morning and we're watching a, a movie or something and he'll be like, well, I gotta do this meeting, I gotta write this person back, I gotta send this email. So you don't actually get um, like private alone time, you know, where as a nine to five job, you would just, get off work and then work is over, you know, this is constantly all the time, like, I gotta send a sub message, I gotta do this, I gotta do that, and all through the day, like, it's so integrated yeah. into our lives. Streaming is something that you can always be working on at all times of the day, and it stops when you decide to stop working, so. Which is a hard thing to It's yeah. like a 24 hour thing. Working. It is. Yeah, all the time. From the moment you, you may be hanging out, but you're still on your cell phone, you mm -hmm. know, tweeting at people, making sure you're doing all the things that you need to be doing to stay there, where you're doing. Yeah, people only see the time that you're online. They don't see everything that goes, you know, behind that to make it work or um, to stay on that schedule. It, it's a lot of sacrifice and it's definitely a lot of hard work. And like I said, it never ends. You can. And it takes a huge toll oh, yeah. on yeah. your relationship. Vic has made us take. Dark. Vic has made us take Sundays off made. for date day. Made us. Made us. <laughs> we need a day. We took a day. I'm sorry, everyone that misses us on Sunday. Can I have a day? I love you, babies. Not on Sundays, they're my best day. <laughs> and it's, it's hard. So we take a date day now every Sunday to make sure that we have some time alone. But we usually talk about the stream most of the day anyway, or at least half the day, I think. <laughs> Even though we're out doing things, which is good, we still get out and we do things. We but we, we talk about the stream and talk about what we're going to do the following week or whatever and what our plans are. But at least we get out of the house and try and do something. Because we do the same thing as them. We try to watch a movie every night, but a movie turns into talking about the stream or sitting on your cell phones or whatever. And plus, you're only sitting there watching a movie, so are you really spending time together or are you just spending time with the movie. Do you guys have the, the problem where I have where I have no other topics to talk about but my stream? It's like really well, difficult. Of course, Your life you revolves around It's like, that. okay, like I'll be really motivated house. and I'll want to talk about it and then she'll be like, oh, I'm so sick of, of hearing it and vice versa. Right. And then sometimes totally. we're both on and we want to talk about it but it seems just constant theme. Right. You know, because we and don't really do much else. The only other thing you talk about is what you watch on Netflix. Exactly. Right. Like, oh, wonder, the Flash was great. Is our, Game of Thrones, is our baby. relationship <laughs> only evolving around Netflix and the stream. Like, what else do we got going on? Mm -hmm. So, that happens. Like, every other couple I've ever talked about, they're like, 
They talk about all this other shit, and we're just like, what is what about, stuff? What is all that stuff? stuff? <laughs> <laughs> you went where? Is that a place? Let me Google it. Oh, I've seen that on Google. Right. <laughs> That's <right>. fine. <laughs> It's a movie theater. So there's like that reality in the back of your mind going, oh God, like what is like... Vic struggles on the stream to talk about topics and I go, why don't you talk about something? And she goes, I don't do anything. <laughs> I have nothing to talk about except the stream. So I wait for them to talk to me and I'm like, oh, I don't know. It's a vicious cycle. Yeah, so you do find that that's all you start to talk about as a couple. Yeah. And you try not to do it with friends either because you're like, oh, new people. Let's be Tell us about your jobs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's one of the most interesting things, just how much time and dedication live streaming takes for people, that it really, really just becomes your whole life. Right. You we were to talking to everybody at the Twitch party last night, and specifically I was asking people, how much do you stream? And literally everyone I walked up to was seven days a week, eight to ten hours a day, yeah. 12 hours a day. If you want to be where we are, you have to do that, otherwise it's not going to happen. And imagine doing that with your partner. That's so, impossible. Like, it takes a massive toll on your relationship. Do so you ever uh, have a fight on the air? <laughs> Me and Vic yeah. have. <laughs> I flip tables. <laughs> Like literally flipped a table. I literally flipped oh, a table. Yeah. Yeah. She wanted to shut the stream off at 8 o'clock. And I was like, I ain't having that. I just flipped the table. The stream went crazy. I was like, oh my god. I just flipped the table. Were there Legos on the table too? I had just got done with the Legos. Okay. Thank god. I did flip the table once when we were doing a Lego build There was off. cake on the table and the dog had to eat it. <laughs> There's a lot of table exactly. flipping on your stream. Yes. I like feel bad if we don't stream from 10 to 10 because those are the hours that kind of I've put forth. <clears throat> And if I'm, like, done at 8, I hope that she can take over for the next two hours. And she was just like, nah, I'm out. And I was like, what? So to punish her, I streamed till 5 a.m. that night. Good one. Sounds like you got her good. Yeah. <laughs> I made us 10 more subs. Take that. That's pretty much what it was in the morning. What were you doing, sleeping? <laughs> yeah. That's exactly it. How about you guys? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to oh, tell no. them? Okay, so I did throw them? a book on stream. My garbage cans did not fall over. <laughs> we did not have to chase them down the street. So you threw a I book at I made a comment them? she didn't like, and she happened to be in the room doing homework. And the next thing, I just hear a super loud thud on the ground, and she stormed out of the room. So I immediately go for the mute, and the, the webcam turning off. And it's like five or ten minutes go by, and my stream is just like, rip, rip, rip cobalt, rip cobalt, rip cobalt. <laughs> She's going to kill him. She's going to kill him. And I get back, and I'm like, oh, it's fine, guys. There's very strong wind outside, and it sounded like a gunshot. But the trash can just blew over. Totally bought it. So it's fine. So that secret was just revealed here for the first time ever? For the first time ever, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't the trash cans blowing over. Or a gunshot. Why did you say it was a gunshot? gunshot? It was loud, okay? <laughs> I wanted them to fear for my life. So I, where do I live where there's gunshots going on my windows? I think people are outside of shooting. It's no problem. Right. <laughs> there was a gunshot in my neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> so how did that work out? <laughs> We're better. <laughs> we won't be making that mistake again. No, we, we purposely just got through it, and I mean, we, we don't really fight for long periods of time, but sometimes it's very vocal, but then after that, I mean, we can get over it in like 10 minutes, Yeah, usually. Like just gotta get out of the system. We don't, I mean, we don't have much time to fight, even, so. <laughs> it's true. Uh, the, well, that's a benefit. Yeah, we, we try to make them short, so the time we do Maybe have is now. actually We're nice. Streaming. <laughs> I like to watch Survivor. It's my favorite. Survivor? I'm a Big Brother fan. I like, I'd rather be on Big Brother. Did you see Dan? Like you guys should check out Dan Giesling. Big he's Brother. Not, he's he's running friends. around. He's one of, I'm really. Yeah. Anyway. He's your best friend. I, oh, he's yeah. one of them. Yeah. Well, now you're my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's important too. Uh, you know, when you are in the public eye like you are, uh, drama like that can really, really echo around the internet. How do you deal with that? I beg everyone to delete the nasty Reddit posts. Like, please. I lie about uh, trash cans. <laughs> he lies. <laughs> I think 
we just have to own it. Like, yeah, we're bad. We just own it. We're just like, oh. We stream okay. 12 hours a day together. So, like, there's no way for you to have a facade and to be this other person that you're not. So we just go with it. And if it happens, we just go through it and... We cry. I cry a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of tears. We just crying right now. <laughs> I'm like, sorry, guys. Our community is pretty forgiving, and some people love it for some weird, obscure reason. Like a so soap opera. We just go with it. <laughs> it yeah. Is. I mean, when Serious you watch... soap opera. <laughs> with gaming, of course. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. You stole my loot. Damn it. Yes. <laughs> Is that Why a did questing you reference? All my, my purples. <laughs> uh, so, like, being in the public eye, how does that affect, and we, you already talked about, you know, needing to meet the stream, right? Uh, but how does it affect, like, your major life changes? Like, you know, becoming official, like, moving in together, getting engaged, getting married, things like that. Does it factor in? It was, like, super easy for us, we I just, think. From day one, we just shared everything. And For us, we weren't, re, yeah, it wasn't really adding. It was immediately, I just added her. And <laughs> it was, no one ever was like questioning why? why there was this addition to the stream or whatever. Because it was a, an improvement. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> sure. <laughs> they were like, oh my God, you got that? That's all I hear every day still. Why is this guy with this Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Anyone can make it, can't they? <laughs> I give hope to everyone. <laughs> Where can I get my own Canadian? Are you serious? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It was super easy for us. It really was. Super easy. We got no backlash. No one was like, oh my God, get rid of Vic. Or, oh my God. I mean, we do get the, oh my God, get rid of Alan. <laughs> you know, but... <laughs> Yeah, but then, like, when I'm not there, 90% of the chat is like, why isn't Ellen there? Yeah, why if one of us is not there, the whole chat is like, where's Vic? Where's Vic? If, I, if I'm there, where's Ellen? Where's Ellen? Where's Ellen? They want us there together all the time. Yeah, you were saying, too, that there's even sort of, like, communities inside your community who root for you or root for Vic. Yeah. yeah. Right? So if there's, like, a fight going on, there's, like, two groups going, Ellen, Ellen, Vic, 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 and they... Yeah, oh, the ladies really like Vic, and they really hate me. <laughs> <laughs> They're so judgmental. Uh, I'd say for us it's a little bit different because we, we have a hard time figuring out where it is best, I guess, to um, settle down, I guess, because like I have my family where I live, and she has her own house, she's in school, so there's these, all these other factors that kind of make it really hard for one of us to make like the full jump into living with one another. So we just do our best to, like I said, compromise. I'll try to, you know, get her to come out for five days and then I'll go there for, you know, a couple of weeks. And um, then maybe we have to spend a, a couple of weeks, uh, you know, apart from each other. But I don't know, we just do our best to make it work. And um, I guess we're just still in the process of figuring that all out. And it's, it definitely wasn't easy as all that. I wish it was. I could just be like, oh, come on, let's go. <laughs> You Wait, know? you spent weeks apart? Months, um, sometimes months. Holy cow. Months? Yeah. When I, I, when I did my big like game launch and stuff, I had to do a marathon, and I had Richard like come over to my house, and um, I didn't really have more room for ju than just him to stay there. So he was there for a good two and a half weeks, and that's just time. Like, what am I going to put up in a hotel or something? Like, that's, that's ridiculous. Um, so... I also like to be focused on the work and stuff like that. I'm, I'm like a freaking workaholic, and I know it's horrible for a relationship. I'm super lucky to be in one. Um, <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. Honestly, <laughs> that is completely true. <laughs> so thank Jesus every day. Yeah, it's. I don't know. We're we're struggling with it. We're gonna try to figure out a place that's best for both of us, um, where she can finish her school up. It's honestly, it's just a waiting game for us, trying to figure out the best time to uh, to make the the jump. We both want to, obviously, very much, so. It's super tough. I've seen a lot of couples break up that do this, both do this. What a happens lot. if you break up? I don't know. For us, it would be a disaster. For them, it'd be easy. They have two separate communities. It's We're fine. They're the only, <laughs> we are the only couple stream that streams together with one channel. One partner. We're the channel. only ones who do it. And so we don't have two separate things to go to. 
what, I mean, the extreme always jokes, what if they get divorced, who do we get? Who do we you get? You know, like, who do we get? It's like, Where do we which go? parent do we get? Who are we going to stay with? with? Mommy. But it's something we built together and something we do together, so, I mean, for me, it'd be a massive struggle to ever do it. Separate. Separate. I can't imagine doing, being a live streamer and doing it without Ellen. I think if it ever fell apart, I couldn't do it. Oh, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> And we're getting married. <laughs> also, I want to say congrats to all these guys, because this is their first panel ever, any of them. So thank you guys very much. Good job so far. We're not done. <laughs> we should thank them for showing up. Yes, thank you guys for showing up. Thank you up. guys. <laughs> and so, as can, Alan can said... Can you guys we, do the wave? <laughs> Just like start. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. There we go. Get some audience participation. That was way better than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. Pretty good. That's a good, wave. That was a, good Like good job, eight guys. out of ten wave. Yeah. Yeah. I don't Hold think on. any other panels got a wave. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> no. And so, as Alan said, it would be pretty easy for you guys to break up. No big deal, right? No. No. No, big deal. no it wouldn't. No. I would be streaming and it'd be like, Cobalt W, Cobalt W, Cobalt W, all on my channel. Like, why'd you leave him? What'd you do? Like, why are you this? Why are you that? Like, nobody would even know why we broke up or anything, but I would get trashed. Regardless. But you'd only get trashed from his community. Yeah. Which wouldn't really affect your community. Because you can just ban, 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 ban. Actually, I, you can just add all his emotes to the banned word list. True. <laughs> that is true. Nothing will pop up. I, I, I don't think it'd be as immediate. I think be, just how we kind of went into the relationship, it, it, hypothetically, if, if we were to ever break up, we would kind of want to ease out of it as well. So it wouldn't be something we went and told everybody right away. We would probably try to distance ourselves a little bit from one another, um, not be around as much. They wouldn't, you know, be hearing her in the background or seem to bring her coffee or whatever, or and we wouldn't talk about each other as much. So when we finally did come out and say it, um, it would be less of a surprise and less of a, a highlight for everybody, I guess, um, for the majority of the people. Mm -hmm. So you really thought this through. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Jeez. No, but seriously, <laughs> where we get me in trouble, man? <laughs> Please. <laughs> I mean, seriously, like, this can be, a, like, like I almost say, a disaster, right? Like, this kind of thing, especially in introducing your communities to each other, people making friends across communities, and really people kind of signing on to the fact that you're a couple and they like you. Um, that can have, like, tremendous impact on, on your stream, on your psychology, on everything if it changes. And, I mean, without getting into too much detail, we've seen some fairly high-profile, drama-filled breakups on Twitch before. Right. And, you know, can you talk a little bit about, like, what kinds of things go wrong for people when that happens? Not that it's ever going to happen to you. This is probably the only job where you could lose your job if you break up. <laughs> I mean, like, your job could get worse. <laughs> like, if you broke up... Not, I'm sorry, I don't mean to say that. <laughs> but Let's do if it. you broke up, <laughs> your it. job at NCSoft would not change at all. Your friends at work would just be like, oh, I'm sorry to hear that, man. My job would be like, wow, look at you, dumbass. Look what you lost, you know. Slash it, on sub. Slash on sub. I'd lose right. all 200 of my subs or whatever. And like, you know, and just, it would just be an absolute train wreck. Especially, they'd ha I'd have to also try and be happy all day. And I'd be crying. And no one wants to watch me cry. They watch it enough. Right. So, and they'd it be would, asking yeah. I would watch that. Cats. You watch it. It'd be great. Look at this guy in red. It would be like, this moron is crying again. <laughs> also, he lost this. <laughs> you know, and yeah, it would, I mean, it's the only job where it's so affected by a few. If your relationship goes well or poor, poor or anything like that, I think. So many judgmental people. It was actually the opposite for me. It hurt me more to get a boyfriend than to be sad and lonely, like being a female streamer. Like everybody wants a single girl, you know, oh, watch the stream, have fun, this is this. And when my community was really great, but then once I got a boyfriend, people just left. They're like, oh, you have a boyfriend now? Bye. Like, I've known you for two years, and you just dropped out. So it hurt me more to get a boyfriend and be happy. Like, I just felt that people wanted me to be alone. And everybody that has stuck around, you know, through all the public dating and everything, like, I respect so much more, you know, because they're here for content. They're not trying to date me, you know. Gotta get rid of the creepers, man. <laughs> the creepers out here. 
Well, you were a creeper. <laughs> That's fair. That's <laughs> fair. <laughs> were you the questing creeper? Yeah. I, will, I, I completed that quest, though. So. <laughs> <laughs> Cheap and <unlocked. laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty amazing how much stuff you have to think through just to have a relationship when you're a live streamer. Mm -hmm. You know, even that... Like, obviously, no one's like, oh, I'm going to break up soon. But, like, even thinking through almost like a PR strategy for when you're going to break up so that it's like, look, we can do this without damaging our careers. You know, it's a pretty fascinating thing that, like Alan said, you know, most people don't have to deal with. It also bleeds on to not just your live stream, but social media in general. You're, like, obviously, your Twitter is going to be – people are very bold and um, can be very mean on Twitter and are very opinionated. So – you have to deal with all of that and decide how you want to respond to it, if you want to respond to it at all. Um, so put out a YouTube video, whatever. Yeah, don't Not do just that. your live stream. <laughs> yeah, probably should be. Issue a statement. Yeah, yeah you exactly. Have to. You have to. You, you should never publicly talk bad about your significant other on any social media. You know, if you're having like a fight or something, I mean, you guys are completely different, but if we fight. <laughs> Wait, we're okay to talk I mean, about it. Yeah, you guys are fine, but we'll have the same it, Twitter. If, <laughs> it's weird when we fight on Twitter because we're both using the same Twitter. <laughs> they don't know what to do. <laughs> when we talk in chat and we're all of a sudden like, Arguing in chat, and we're both on the serious I'm like, gaming go game. To bed, Alan. It's time to go to People bed. are like, "What in the hell is going on <laughs> in this <laughs> chat?" <laughs> yeah, so it'd be very strange. They can't tell who's talking about who. Yeah, I mean that's. It just kind of blows my mind. Like, um, so one more question, and then we're gonna take questions from the audience. So if you guys want to start lining up, we'll take oh, some Lord. questions. Oh no! Uh, hopefully, <laughs> not too bad questions. Uh, nice. But do you have any advice for streamers who are in relationships or pursuing relationships? Uh, I don't know. If they're going to do like what Alan and I do and do it together, you have to like make sure that you're on the same page with everything because we're not 100% on the same page about what we do. So like Alan has his own set of rules on how he wants to stream and do with the chat and I have my own way and sometimes there's a conflict there. So that can create some rifts between the community and each other and things like that. <laughs> I'm crazy and you're Canadian? Yes. <laughs> so old, I'm crazy and you're like, I'm sorry, he's crazy. The old crazy Canadian combo. Yes. <laughs> and guys, step up to the microphones if you want to ask any questions. Otherwise, I will just make these guys talk about weird stuff. <laughs> Cobal, how about you? Uh, I would just say, like I've, I've been talking about, just compromise. Um, it's, it's very important. You always want to make sure you're, you're trying to compromise, meet, meet each other halfway. And as with any relationship, it's going to work if both sides want it to work. It, a relationship only fails if both sides don't want it to work. So um, I, I, I would say, yeah, be on this, make sure you're on the same page. Make sure you talk about it. Um, it is important, obviously, to make time for one another, but it's also important in the business we're in to know that it is a, a unique situation um, and it's I, th I think having being very understanding of that is definitely important as well. So, it's almost like I don't know. That's pretty perfect. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say if you are thinking about dating a streamer, date somebody on your schedule. So don't <laughs> yeah. date don't date somebody on the opposite like we do. It's it's very miserable at times because he'll stream six hours and I'll do eight to ten and then he's sleeping when I get done so then I'm sleeping when he wakes up and it's just you probably get she me. usually has to take a day off for us to be able to spend a, a lot of time together um, like how we want yeah so. I, I take the sacker I take the hit I take the day off I appreciate that yeah <laughs> thanks <laughs> and if you're like I wonder what it's like for people that are dating a streamer that aren't streamers themselves it's miserable I've done it. Like, like, no, they hate that's it. That's probably the hardest, I think, out there. At least yeah, if you're yeah. dating, like we're all dating other streamers, so we can uh, kind of understand the life, understand the public eye a little, understand the scrutiny that you're going to get. But the other person, if they're not involved in all that, they're just like, what are you doing all day? And why do you work so hard? And why is that all you talk about all day? And I'm tired of hearing about your stupid stream or what Lucy did in your chat today, you know, or whatever. <laughs> I'm sure that's difficult, what? but maybe try to get involved in it at least watch 
the channel and try to figure out what your significant other does and try to understand, maybe see it from their side and see, okay, well, I see that they work really hard and this must be difficult on their mentality every day or whatever. I've, I've gotten in the past, why are all these dudes sending you messages? Like, why are you getting gifts sent to you? Like, why do people donate you money? Like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm, I'm doing nothing. Like, I'm just streaming. Like, did you show them your boobs? I was like, no, I didn't show them my boobs. Like, what are you talking about? It's a stream. I show my boobs all like, the time, watch. by the way. <laughs> you know, just like you get very random questions from somebody that doesn't understand streaming or, you know, even the people watch you factor. Why anybody would be generous like that, yeah. you know? I mean, it still blows our mind. Why? Mm -hmm. Does anybody even like us? Yeah. <laughs> All right, first question over here. Hey, guys, my name's Kyle. Uh, my question is twofold. Uh, how do you balance the obligation to your viewers and subs with your significant other? And then the second part is, for y'all that are getting married, how are y'all going to balance in the future, assuming you're going to have kids, like how are y'all going to transition into that and, and have y'all even thought that? <laughs> Apparently that was a good question. <laughs> well, that's been a huge topic. I think I'm a, I, God, I'm a streaming crazy person. I think introducing a child to live streaming is amazing, personally. <laughs> I'm like, yo, this kid's going to grow up on stream like the freaking Truman Show, man. It's going to be awesome. Wait till it takes its first steps and the whole chat is like... Whoa! You know what I mean? Like, I think it'd be amazing, you know? I was trying to see what would be the rules on breastfeeding on Twitch, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, man. <laughs> just, like, anything cool, like, I just think it'd be awesome. Personally, I think it'd be awesome. But Vic's the other way. She's like, I don't know, I don't man. know if I could, the way that we stream and how long we stream, I don't know if I could give the attention that a kid needs to, you know, have a normal life instead of sitting there and, you know, and knowing that the chat is there and all that kind of stuff. I feel like it would be selfish of me to have a kid while we're doing what we do. So. But look, a little three-year-old doing DDR. I know, but then there's like a whole thing. I'm <laughs> have like, you waiting. seen them on YouTube, man? I'm, they, I'm dreaming of those like... Reddit posts where they're like telling me I'm exploiting my child and stuff like that. It hasn't happened yet, obviously, but like, I'm, those are the things I think about. Like, yeah, it is a really interesting question, uh, especially that breastfeeding part. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm really curious about the breastfeeding thing. I don't know why. It's a subject I, I broach all so the time. Is anyone from so Twitch here? Yeah. <laughs> but the other part of the question was, uh, how do you balance your obligations to the stream versus your obligations to your relationship? I mean, that doesn't really apply to us because we both stream at the same time. Very poorly, I would say, when it, um, because... I don't know, I had, I had my stream for three years, um, and I've known her for about, a little, what, two. over two? And we didn't start dating until, what, about a year, now. year or so, <laughs> around, you know, for a while. Um, and I always, I don't know, I'm very passionate about what I do. I wanna make sure all my subs get what, you know, what they feel is worth it for coming to my channel. And I've had the same schedule forever, and unfortunately, that is seven days a week, six hours a day. And uh, I don't really like to deviate from that because why change something that seems to be working, you know? Like, so, I don't know. And as far as, uh, it, it's very hard to balance those obligations. Um, I think sh being in a relationship has actually made me more acceptable to that. I'm, I'm more apt to take time off. For example, we went to like a Chicago meetup uh, at, a, at a land center in Chicago. I went with her, I took stream off time for that. So the only Which time you take working. stream off was, time is I to come to PAX work. or go to an event? <laughs> That's how it usually Generally, I, I did take a day off this month to take her out to dinner, which... Which it, I it's heard... It's a start. Which I heard it was because another streamer that he was doing that a podcast with... Wait. It was his wife's birthday, and then that's why he felt bad. He didn't take me out for my birthday. I didn't birthday. feel bad at all, okay? I wanted to do that. <laughs> I wanted to take you out. That was a rumor. You streamed on her birthday, too. Like, that was the rumor? I got off early on her birthday. <laughs> he got off yeah. 40 minutes early I, I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm, working I'm trying. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You know, that makes me feel bad, too. Like, I don't want to, you know, do anything to stop him from streaming or anything like that. And then it puts it on me, like, so I'm putting myself aside for the stream, which, I mean, he would do the same thing for me. But then you have to balance how much are you willing to do that 
you know, like, yeah, you stream seven days a week, six plus hours a day, but things like my birthday or stuff like that, I'm like, no, you have to, we have to do something, you know? And you he didn't has take to, her birthday off? No. I got off early. <laughs> Played Uno with her. I was already drunk. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, no. That, was, that was an excellent question. Guys, definitely come up and ask some questions. You want to know anything about the intimate details of these people's lives? Other streamers that they have the crushes on. The intimate details? Yes, the intimate <laughs> details. Yes, sir. Hello? All right, Hello. first off, love you, Cobalt. You should mod me. All right. <laughs> $10. Deal. Okay. Uh, the question is um, it's, I guess, for mainly Cobalt and Rose. Um, when you got together, you obviously lost some people, but you also gained some from each other's community. Mm -hmm. um, have you ever noticed that you've gotten people from your partner's community and now they're like hardcore, like up in your community? Uh, definitely, I say there's probably at least 30 to 50 subs between us that I have noticed are in both of our chats. They're sub to both of us, they're very supportive. Um, they really enjoy both of our channels and uh, that's what made us really comfortable, I guess, to be very open about it and to be able to talk about one another and not worry about about it because we saw um, uh, those communities coming together like that. So um, I don't know, it's, it's a really great feeling to know that someone you like, your community also likes as well and they're willing to do that uh, for you, so. I love it. I love, I love that our communities are integrated and that people that are really supportive, you know, it really hurts when people are not supportive, you know, of our life choices, but then when you have the core community that supports both of us, you know, that likes, you know, both streams, it just makes you feel so much better. Like, it's undescribable how that makes you feel, you know. It actually does apply to us because I have the ultimate clickbait. <laughs> um, they come in for her because we try to make her fo go full screen or something. I don't know. And then they see how awesome I am and they stay for me and they're like, God, I was here for Vic, but this dude's funny. And they just stay. And I'm always I hear a like, lot of people yes. say that. It's, it's the really ultimate true. clickbait. It is true, super true. true. I love it. So Thank I you. benefit from her. Thank a you. Lot. Drop Thank the you for the question. <laughs> yes, sir. Hi. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, my name is Reed the Red. Uh, I actually converted my wife into gaming, like she was like a closet nerd, and then I got her into MMOs and stuff, and I've been streaming for about a year and a half, and I've built a community, and my question is, I, my, my stream loves her, like a lot, like way more than I do. Even with the beard, they love her more than me. Um, so my, my question is like, I have, I've already built like a decent amount of followers already, and I'm, I feel like I'm close to getting partnered, but I have a pretty like set name, like Reeve the Red. There's no way, like with serious gaming, that could be either of you. So like, should I include her in my stream and, and, and just add her to my stream? Or should we create our, another stream chain, team channel just for us to stream together? I, I guess that would be your opinion on how I would go about adding my wife to my community or, or whatever. That is a great question. Well, for us, great question. we felt like if we had two streams, we'd be abusing the Twitch community. So we just figured it would be best if we just streamed together the whole time because we enjoyed being together and we felt like that was a unique dynamic that we brought to Twitch by being together opposed to separate. Right. So, like, so how would I go about integrating her? I mean, honestly, I just put her on camera and be like, here. Just stick her on there. Just be like, hey. Just try it out yeah. for, you right. know, do something fun and different on your stream. Play a game maybe that you've never played before on your stream. Do something completely different and bring her on to play that and see how they go for it. Okay. Did you say she's also a streamer currently? Or? No, she's, uh, she just games a lot. I mean, that's okay. all she does. And it just depends on what you guys are looking for. I have this weird outlook on things. So, I don't know. For me personally, I would bring them on my stream and stream with them. I'm not really a huge fan of like keeping well, we, two we separate, had, and I we had very different time no, slots. No, I get that. Like already, so. I'm not a huge fan of doing that. Just personally, I don't. I don't know. I like, I've seen a few couples that are on Twitch that first the male started streaming, and then uh, many years later they introduce the the significant other, and they start their own stream, and they just host them and make them a big shot right. or whatever. And I I did feel like it m might be exploiting the Twitch community, which is probably a really bold thing to say, and I'm sorry. Um, 
We came here for controversial opinions. <sighs> the thing is, people are going to watch who they want to watch. I mean, That's even true. if you host somebody, if they don't want to watch it or they don't like your significant right. other, they're not going to yeah. stay. You know, well, but it, you force people to sub to two different things instead of just subbing to them together. Well, you never force anybody. <laughs> I mean, I, mean, you know, I, I, I never ask for subs or, you know, anything like that or donations or anything like that. It's more of just like... I want people to be introduced to her, so when I'm talking about her, they have some. No, no, basis. you guys had two separate communities yeah. to begin with. I'm saying yeah. like, yeah, if you're gotcha. going to introduce someone, someone new, all right, right. Gotcha. I'm a fan of just bring them into your community and become would, a team. Yeah, just test the waters. Yeah, like, I mean, every, t I mean, she's streamed a few times with me, and it's it's been really great. Like, um, and I, I've I've asked them like how they feel about it about me starting a new channel, and I'm kind of sketchy about that because starting a whole other channel, even if I host my own channel. That doesn't mean that that channel is going to do well or, you know, whatever. Starting so. the second channel is never a good Ex exactly. idea. Exactly. Unless you're going to specifically or like run big events on it mm -hmm. and you have a plan for that um, and, or some other unique draw. I don't feel like it's ever productive to make like a Cobalt at Night channel with the girlfriend or something like that. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, it's not just like stream outside your bonus hours if you're uncomfortable with it. Like be, make it a bonus stream. Like go two hours extra or something like that. Like stream outside your schedule if you're worried about that. I'll just make sure she's on the left side. So on the thumbnail, it's clickbait, like Alan said. So. <laughs> well, it also depends too, like on your community. Like if your chat, if you're like really, really involved and you're like reading every line of chat, they probably won't react well to her being there because you're more, your attention is more given towards her than it is to the chat. So you might get a negative there. But if you're just there chatting the whole time, and talking about the game, you'll probably have an easier time bringing her into the stream. Okay, awesome. Yeah, and I, I mean, I think that point about experimentation is really good. You know, finding ways that, like, something you already do that makes sense, like a, a streamer that we know named uh, King Gathalian uh, will play Super Mario Maker, and he'll make these just horrible levels for his wife uh, and call them, like, Super Divorce Maker, and then have her come on the stream and play, and she's just like, I hate you, I hate you, why are you doing this to me? And he's just laughing. Uh, you know, so, like, if you can find ways to kind of bring it in. Because we're on different times. Oh, I'm sorry, are you guys talking too? I'm sorry. It's sensitive. It's more sensitive than I thought. But, yeah, I mean, I think just... Uh, Experimenting around, like they said, kind of figure out what happens, you know, see what your community does. Cause, I mean, I've seen, like, we've seen channels where it's couples together, uh, separate channels, that sort of thing. Even s channels where, like, they sort of trade off, right? Like, one person is streaming at this time, another person is streaming at that time. So, the, the, the only thing I would say that you need to be careful of is that I've seen this happen in the community, and it's really sad, and, you know, we all know it, it happens that girls will... Um, date somebody and then they bring them in the stream and then they take that and they start their own stream and then they break up with the person. They use them for, you know, whatever reason. And I know he was worried um, when we first started dating. We'll be, I'll be honest, you know, he was worried and I was like, I don't want to, I'm like, I don't need anything. Like, I'm good. I got my own, you know, but it happens a lot in streaming that you see that and I've had some other you know, male streamers say it was the worst thing that has ever happened to them, you know, bringing somebody in and then breaking up and it just was terrible for them, so... Okay. I, I mean, I've been married for like seven years, so I, I think I think I'm safe. Yeah, but in I mean, safe in general, zone. In general, I hope she's not using him. So I mean, if she uses me, that was no, I was good. really good sneaky planning. Like I yeah. know in seven years you can be a, a streamer. She's Congratulations, man. Yeah. yeah. So, she's just into you for the hosts. Right. In the yeah. beard. The beard. The hosts. Right. So thank you. Yeah. Thank, thank you for your question. Yes, ma'am. Hi. Um, I was wondering, maybe uh, Cobalt and Rose, you could talk a little bit about what it was like to keep your relationship private. Um, I'm more of a private person, I'm new to streaming, so I'm hesitant to, I guess, broadcast my, a lot of my personal life, which would involve my marriage. Um, I got some advice early on that said, give them everything but the stuff that's important as far as your personal life. Mm -hmm. um, so just, I guess, what are your thoughts on that? Because it, it seems like it could go either way. You know, you could share everything about your life on stream. But I'm not sure if I'm comfortable doing that. Well, I like to keep things more private, but he likes to say everything. So once he says it, I mean, it's out there, so I just run with it. I don't have anything to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> so you talk about what makes you happy, right? So I don't know. Um, we, we try to keep some of the really important things, you know, private. You know, if anything's happening in our, our families or, you know, our close friends, like, we usually don't like to bring any of that on stream. Um, 
but anything that would pertain to our communities or that's funny, you know, we, we like to share everything. We like to play a lot of the same type of games and stuff like that. So um, if I've been watching her stream the night before and I'm on the next day playing something, for example, I'll be like, oh yeah, I was watching my girlfriend play this and she did it this way, but we're gonna try it this way or whatever. Um, it, I, I don't know, it doesn't have to be ideas. too personal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take all of her say. strats. He does, he does, <laughs> by the way. Um, but I think there's some things that are too personal, and I, I think, you know, you want to keep those to yourself, but, I mean, there's definitely a line. Um, we, when, we, when I talk about her, it's more like gaming or what we've done for the day. It's not like personal details about, like, our inner workings. I don't, like, go on and, like, oh, I had a fight with Lisa today about the, who takes the trash out or whatever, yeah. or cleaning dishes. You guys or, fight about the trash. Well, I just a <laughs> hypothetical or, you know, terrible example. No, we but, do. <laughs> Take it out. <laughs> I did it. I did it. I did, I did it. it. <laughs> um, but it, I always try to keep it positive. You know, I don't want to use my stream as like an outlet for like council therapy or something. You know, like keep it positive about gaming. Um, I don't know. Just I want to be helpful and to make everybody happy. I like to keep. I like to keep it more separate. I just do. I mean, it's it's always like that. He knows and he he appreciates that. I never. Um, I don't really, I've been streaming for a long time and I don't really like people to be very, very close to me because I've done that before. I've let my community in very, very close and they burned me for it. You know, I mean, I've got sued. Um, it was, it was terrible. So yeah, I, that's just me, but he likes to tell everything. He'll be like, she's naked in here. And I'm like, can you not tell your street? <laughs> <laughs> like one time, man. I'm the worst. <laughs> I just tell everything. We do like, all. wear your clothes, sweetie. Um. <laughs> Thank you for the question. I think we have the time for just one more question. Okay. So that's lucky that there's one more person in line. Yes, sir. Do you all ever have viewer competitions where secretly you make a bet where one person gets more views than the other and just does never cause complications? What? Viewer competitions. You like dared me, like, oh, I bet you, you could get more viewers playing this game or something like that. <laughs> We've done that before. We like talk about like, you know, we each of us has our own strengths as a streamer. So like, sometimes we'll fight over a game. Like when Fallout came out, I'm like, you're out. I'm playing this game. <laughs> you're not playing it. You're not spoiling it for me. I'm gonna be the one who's gonna main this game. So, we have like, conversations about who's gonna stream what. But there's like, never anything that's like, whoever gets less viewers tonight gets a spanking. That could be something we do. That could be something we do. <laughs> yes. Maybe. Yeah. That sounds fun. Are you sure you're ready for that? Sure. <laughs> that's like a whole I got a pretty good following, stuff. you know. Yeah. yeah. I was big before I got you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> You guys don't. And they're not even going to say anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the spanking thing? We, we, we will She'd be getting a lot of spankings. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what? That's so funny. <laughs> I'm not the one getting the spanking tonight. No. <laughs> Can I ask a question? Yes. So, how do you, do you guys give each other feedback on your own streams? Yeah, we yeah. like. Do you guys like? That doesn't go over very well. So. Right? Oh my god, that happens all the time. Like if I'm streaming by myself and I was like, "You should have done this or done this." Do you guys give I'm each so other sorry. feedback? I'm so sorry. I'm like, so I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, it does. It happens a lot. Like you know? he's be like, like Alan's like always to me. He's like, I wish I was a girl because this would have gotten so much better. <laughs> Him and like, like, why did you get? Like, why are you so salty today? Like, can you not? Like, I'm like, you're real grumpy. I'm and he's fine. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, that happens all the time for he's us like, too. Can you, can you not say I'm grumpy on my stream? He's like, I don't like it. I'm just like, okay, I'm sorry, you know. And then he'll be like, well, dear, you should have played this game today and did this, or you should have. Yeah. <laughs> I can't help it. it. It's more like you should. It's it's always been you should stream more days and. If, if I stream more days, we won't be dating. Like, that's just a matter of it. Like, I have realized this. You have? Recently. Recently. So, Today. <laughs> stream whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note. <laughs>
Thank you guys for coming. Let's please give a big round of applause to Victoria, Alan, Mike, and Lisa. Thank you guys. Thank you. Now it's time to party. Shots are on.